Thank you, Gosha, for having me for this office hour. Um, so essentially, uh, <clears throat> this office hour is going to be primarily for you guys. I'll talk a little bit about my journey so far, and then a couple of key messages, and then we'll open up the floor for open discussions. I've got a number of uh, questions that I've gotten already, so I'll do my best to go through them. Well, uh, go to slido.com, and the event code is uh, UWENG. Um, that should allow you to post questions or any polls that you wanted to do uh, throughout this topic. So I have questions already. If something comes up, uh, feel free to add those questions uh, on the poll. Then I'll be happy to answer them uh, at the end of the presentation. I am a Waterloo graduate. Um, so I completed computer engineering back in 2014. And I've worked in a number of different industries um, from anywhere between you know, consulting to banking as well as technology as well. So I'll share a little bit about uh, what my background has been so far. Uh, so right now, um, I work for TD. So I'm a project manager doing a digitization automation work uh, in, in EETS, which is a division within uh, TD. Uh, prior, to, prior to TD, I worked at uh, Deloitte Consulting. So a few years doing Deloitte uh, Consulting, so where I have experience working with uh, WSIB, Husqvarna, Economical Insurance, and TD as well. Uh, so these are all the companies that you see on your screen at the moment. So these are companies that I've, I've been part of while working at Deloitte. And uh, prior to Deloitte, um, I was just like you guys. I was a student uh, doing a bunch of internships at uh, uh, different positions, uh, trying to figure out what my passion is and what I want to do you know, post-university. Um, the, the experiences that I've gained have, been, you know, uh, in, are, have really influenced who I am today. Uh, especially because, you know, as you're very fortunate when you're, you know, come to a university like Waterloo, you get to experience a lot of different positions, topics, um, and you get exposed to a lot of different things. It gives you the flexibility to uh, try different things and figure out what you really like and don't like. Um, so my experiences for my co-ops have been uh, Blackberry, Apple, and Manulife. To that, I think um, I, I was working in, you know, Best Buy, Future Shop back in the day, and I used to do uh, molecular and cellular research in, uh, in Guelph as well. So this is, this is my journey until this point. The message that I would like to convey to the audience here is um, you could have passions and you could have you know, things that you have to do to, putting it blunt, just pay the bills. So it could be two separate things, but what I'm trying to, the message that I'm trying to get across is you, can, you have to figure out a way to do both and there's no one path that you can, you can set for yourself now that will make you reach that goal right now. And the journey that you take is not straightforward. It is something that it comes over time and you figure out based on networking. So if I ask you guys, um, what, is, what is a network? Um, we have a few folks on the phone, so what, what, what comes to mind? Uh, the people you know, people are more experienced you, people you can reach out to to your career. Sure, sure, that, that's one take of network, sure. Okay, anyone else on the line? The people that uh, the people that actually know you and know what your strengths and weaknesses are and connect and can connect you with other people. Sure, sure, that, that's an acceptable answer as well. Um, the simplest terms. Uh, let's let's focus on uh, from a technical perspective. What is a network from a technical perspective? Right. It, essentially, it's it's entities. It's interconnecting entities. So the picture that I'm showing right now um, is a network. If you look at this picture, um, you see there is people computers, organizations, and you're all connected with one form or another, right? So this is essentially what a network is, is you know, you guys are right. Um, you form your network uh, very early. So the people that you know, the people connections, the more people know of you, you form the network as well. So you're right, it's, uh, there's no right or wrong answers. I'm just trying to see what your thinking is. So uh, I was thinking from a computer engineering perspective, you know, a network is, is, is a series of interconnected entities. So entity could mean anything. It could be humans, it could be computers, it could be interaction, it could be anything. <clears throat> so let me uh, switch over a little bit. Um, what is passion? It's uh, completely different, but um, what does it mean to you when, when I say uh, the word passion? Folks on the line? It's okay, there's, there's no right or wrong answers. Something that motivates you, the driving force. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. What makes you, I think um, my definition of passion is what makes you really happy. And one of the biggest messages that I would convey is follow your passion, right? So if you have a specific passion that you wanted to pursue, go for it and use networking as a tool for you to re get, become you know, successful and reach your passion. So for some people, uh, one of the things that you have to realize is their day job 
might not be something they're truly passionate about. But what people would have to do is figure out ways to get their passions on the side. So for example, uh, I think I was just talking to a professor recently and he said, you know, some people's profession, sorry, passion is the weekend. Trying to do, you know, weekend activities, weekend jobs or weekend certain things like that. So this person has tried to do something for a living as well as do something on the side as well. It's very hard to do both, you know, having a really great job that follows your passion as well. But it's doable though. Like I haven't done it. But I'm hoping in one day in the future, that's something that, you know, I can, I can get to in, in due time. So that's something that I'm working towards. And the, one of the messages that I wanted to give you guys is there is no straight path, right? So right now, it's, it, this, this shows there's a clear road of where your passion is because there, there's no clear path. You have to figure it out based on, um, uh, based on networking, talking to people, trying different things and seeing where, you, where that takes you. If, for example, like, say art is your passion, music is your passion, give it a shot. Uh, play some music, get involved with your local community, do what you can to satisfy that, you know, the passion that you have under, underneath you. Would you say that, for example, you know, everybody is here in engineering because of your passion? Because I personally, um, when I was in high school, I always had this interest for healthcare. I wanted to become a doctor. Uh, but due to the natural course of um, you know, how things, uh, things came into my life, I kind of chose computer engineering. I ended up uh, doing computer engineering. But, you know, one thing led to another, and I ended up working at, um, a, at a bank uh, called TD. And everybody banks with TD. So uh, a lot of people know about, you know, the, the values that TD has. And this is where that my career has taken me. But at the same time, you know, I, I'm doing other things on the side in order to help me reach my passion. So one of my personal intuitions and passions are is to... Uh, work with students, you know, work with, uh, work with the community, do mentorship, and all those areas related to, you know, helping others grow and solving, you know, complicated problems in the world. The, those are some things that I'm trying to do outside. So hence, I'm coming into the university, uh, talking to people, and you guys. Uh, that's something that, you know, I identified as something that I want to pursue, and I, I'm doing what, what I can. Um, and I want to share something else with you as well. So I came up with this acronym. Um, I'm not sure if uh, people have heard the term RAID before. Um, I'll explain where that leads in, in a second. So R stands for remember. Be patient. Career journey is a marathon. It's, it's not a sprint. So in, in our era, I think a lot of us have this intention of you know, being a bit impatient because we always want to get somewhere. But unfortunately, we don't realize that you know, it, it's, we don't have to get there in X years or X months take the time and listen to the feedback that you know your, your mentors and your teachers and professors give you right like take the time to understand what that journey looks like and you don't need to be in a rush i think um like you know millennials and the generation right now uh, i this is i am guilty of this too like a lot of the times that i'm very impatient and it's it, it's okay but realize that the, the journey is long it's it's not a quick thing and um, A stands for acknowledge. Um, so recognize that failure is a form of learning. So when you fail on something, for example, it could be a course, it could be a milestone, it could be something related to school or personal, it's okay. Yeah. Recognize that you know, failure is also a form of learning. You're learning, um, <clears throat> you're learning from what you've done. So it's not a set, it, it is a setback. But it's not something that, you know, it's, it, it shouldn't hold you from moving forward. I've had my ups and downs and, you know, everybody has. And you always try to go to the next level. It takes time, but with the right help and support, and you, you can get there. And I, um, I came up <clears throat> with integrity. So never sacrifice your morals and your ethics for anything related to work. Because you have to be true to who you are as a person in order to, in order to be, you know, successful, right? If someone's asking you to, for example... Uh, drink alcohol and you're not something that, that is, it defies your, your moral values, don't do it. Be true to who you are as a person because that's really important to be, you know, be successful as well as have a satisfying job as well. Another thing I want to point is the drive. Work for people that drive you to become a better professional. So what I'm trying to say is work for people that help you grow as a person individually, both professionally and from a career perspective. Don't work for people, you know, I've had interesting managers, interesting people that I've worked with. A lot of people put you down. And there are a few people that will help you, that will help you drive to become a better version of yourself. 
work for those type of people, but also understand how to work with other people because sometimes you don't get a choice of who your manager is or your mentors are. So you have to kind of just go with it, right? Just go with whatever is there and then and, and then you'll find the right person in due time. I'm still looking for that as well, right? Like I've got great people within my company and the university who I chat with, but not everybody has, brings in the same kind of value that the other that a, one person would. So the top approach that I've taken is, you know, the art of networking, right? So I've really emphasize people to you know network quite a bit while they can when you're a student because when you're a student you have opportunities and exposure to so many different things once you do that you 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 are just looking at so many possibilities it's it, it's ridiculous the connections that i formed when i was a student i still have that to come back to so i was meeting up with a couple of my professors from ece and I met Gosha, like, I think, uh, first, uh, first year, second year of what workforce. And I kept in touch. And it's, it's really great coming back to something like an institution because uh, you might not see this now, but there's a lot of value in having these connections um, looking, you know, looking forward or backwards as well. So I think um, the motto that I have, it, it's probably in my description as well, is, you know, network like you mean it. Always strive to learn and never give up on your true passions. Uh, the reason I say network, like you mean it, is you know, network with all sorts of people, right? Don't network with just uh, just to just the goal to find your job, because I personally network to find out what other people have done in life, so that I can learn from it and kind of you know channel off all of that. So the, these are certain things that I have done, and it, it's worked so far. I'm not sure if this is something I'm going to do all the time, but I always welcome people to have conversations and, and do do a few things that based on their interest. In summary, I wanted to take some key takeaways that I want to leave you guys with is the following. Career journey is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Network every day. Build meaningful connections. And uh, I'm sure everyone's going to relate to the last one because we have this attitude of, you know, work hard, play hard. But I also say, you know, work hard, play harder as well. And don't give up on your true passions. Like if something is your true passion, go for it. And I want to say, you know, there's a few things, right? So there's a few people that I know have done it really well. And um, I'll, I'll give examples of two, and I hope you can relate to both of them. Uh, one of them is, I would say, you know, Bill Gates. Bill Gates have something done, he's done something successful as build this company like Microsoft, as well as, you know, do something in the philanthropy and a lot of other charitable work that he's worked on. So those are great. Uh, that's one fine example of someone that's done both. Another, another, um, another thing that I wanted to share is... Um, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of uh, Professor Larry Smith, but Larry Smith has been a veteran professor for a very long time. And I'm not sure if you guys know, but his job at the university was an economics professor from the Faculty of Arts. But if you look at him now, that's not what he does. He does so much with entrepreneurship, the Conrad Center, he gives presentations, and he does radio talk shows. He does all of it. And it's taken him time to figure out to how he can uh, reach his passion by venturing out and doing different things. So um, I personally, if you ask me, I work at a bank. I, I manage projects that are technology related. Um, on the side, I love photography. I like to dance. I am um, getting involved with the student community. So I'm branching out as much as I could possibly can. Because I realized, you know, at one point in my life last year, I realized, you know what, I want to do more than just uh, work one place. Because I think um, my passion is, you know, don't get me wrong, like I love what I do. I work with a lot of interesting people. I work with complicated projects and it's, it's great. But at the same time, there's something that's in your genes. Like everybody has that, right? So we had some, uh, so, you know, creating, creating artifacts, creating talking. There's be so much more. And my, my biggest uh, takeaway for you guys is make, don't ever give that up. Like give it a shot. May, may not be today. Maybe, you know, school is consuming your life, but that's okay. Take the time to venture at your own time, right? So if you play the guitar, if you're into music, venture out. I know people, I've got friends that, you know, work a full-time job and do, uh, do things on the side. For example, they could do music, they could do modeling, they do all of that. Because, you know, they've taken the time to pursue their passions. So that's, that, that's probably the last thing that I would say is, uh, you know, network as much as you can. And don't ever give up. Don't give up on your passions. Go for it and we'll see where things go.